Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about a pretty realistic scale that you need as a developer. I, about 20-30 minutes ago, I took a technical interview for a recruiting agency that asked me to take one, see if they wanted to try and find me a job, and to be honest with you, I bombed it. I was, I, I historically do very poorly on these, I get very nervous, I... I have kind of anxiety about it, and and I, you know, there, it's not my strong suit, to be honest with you. I, I try to do better. I've been practicing on code fights to do such things, but there was three, three, um, three problems. I didn't even get the first one done. While the other person is watching and giving encouraging advice, and she was very nice. But uh, I want to talk to you about technical interviews today. The, the reason is that technical interviews are a pretty practical part of getting your first developer job. And a lot of times those are algorithm based and they, they can vary. Some are easier for, for me, some are hard for me. Uh, in this example that I crumbled and failed uh, was a Sudoku solver scene, if it was correct or not. Essentially you had a, uh, a nine by nine grid with values in there, three by three by three. And so it was whatever nine times nine times nine is uh, values. And you had to, uh, excuse me, nine times nine. So there's 81 total values. And you have to basically see, is this a correct solution or not? And I, I couldn't get the last part in the time allotted. But uh, more than just me failing, I want to tell you why you need to be prepared and why I did prepare, right? I did prepare because I've been studying algorithms for, I've solved 75 algorithms on code fights in the last month or so. And really, that's uh, three weeks. So I'm, I'm doing my best by preparing and, and looking at things. And one, one thing I want to talk to you about is a site called Pramp. Uh, recently, I interviewed the, the CEO of the company. And what Pramp is, is a, uh, a free technical interview site for people who are trying to get those skills up. So that, and the, why, why get it up? Like, even, even, if you are like for me i get very nervous it's, it's always been an effect with me is uh back to when i was in school i would crumble a little bit and get overwhelmed i don't perform to my fullest and it's something that i need to get more comfortable with and that feeling definitely came across well while, while i was having my technical interview because you know you got someone essentially watching over your shoulder not being mean or anything but it's it's nerve-wracking for me so pramp is a, a cool free service where you can find someone to, who is an expert in what let's say you want a javascript technical interview it's a great place for you to go and have a mock technical interview for free uh, you sign up and hopefully you'll if you can provide a technical interview and you can kind of see it like here It'll be some sort of um, JavaScript or not JavaScript, but it'll be a maybe a question and a uh, You'll have one person on the other end You'll be on this end and they'll be giving you a algorithm you can solve it in the uh, language of your choice and go from there now for me, this is I, I've always been really uncomfortable with technical interviews. I much prefer they just send me an algorithm, leave me alone, and I will try and solve it. Once someone's on the other side, it's, oh my god, I feel almost embarrassed sort of thing. But it's, it's unfortunate, because I don't necessarily believe it's the best way to test developers. That could just be because I'm bad at them. But so <laughs> maybe I'm biased. But I think that it will, I think that it's an, it's a, I don't want to say necessary evil, but it is the way of the world in terms of interviewing software developers and and getting them to to be to see if they are qualified. It's what it's the current best way that's doing it. And for me to tell you like, hey, it sucks, don't bother, isn't the correct solution. I want to give practical advice, and and my advice here is practice, practice, practice. In this case, I, I, I did poorly in a mock interview. But by me failing, I learned a lot. I also um, got over a little bit of the anxiety of mock interviews. It'll probably be a little bit less. I'll still have it, things like that. But Pramp <coughs> is another great way that you can do it. And similar to your phone interview, the advice I gave, where you need to practice, 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 this is another thing that you can practice along the way. 
if you don't want to go, maybe you're maybe you're too intimidated to go on a free service like Pramp. You're like, oh my god, there's gonna be a senior developer on the other end. I'm gonna embarrass myself. I get it. I get all that because that's how I feel, right? So if that if you're in the same boat as me, what you can do is you could have a friend who's a, a developer on the other end, and they could maybe they have a solution to an algorithm that you think is a decently hard one to pick a pick a good one off code fights for instance that a friend has solved or you have solved and have them say okay or that you haven't solved rather that defeats the point have them say okay let's see if you could solve this and we'll do you know typically you get like an hour or an hour and a half to solve three that's usually been my experience and go through the process so it feels more natural but do prepare for your technical interviews. I've been preparing just in case I ever need it. I'm trying to work on creating content as well. And I was glad that I had the mock technical interview because uh, if I ever need to take a real one, it's a little bit more experience than my belt. And maybe I'll do much better or a little bit better. And I plan to continue to do them as well. Even now, though, I feel kind of like a loser, to be honest with you. But I'm glad, <laughs> glad I did it. I will continue to to do these mock interviews as much as I can while still studying and still and getting good feedback and things like that. So that's my two cents, guys. I hope that you are trying to, I hope you're one, you're studying algorithms because if you're not, you're gonna have a hard time landing a junior developer role or senior developer role for that matter, if you're a junior developer. Two, I hope you're practicing the mock technical interviews because it is, it's, it's the way of the world. I don't necessarily agree with it. Again, I could be biased. I understand that if I was killing it, maybe I would say say the same. I don't know a better way to test somebody other than to maybe have them walk me through their source code and or have them recreate something they've made that say, okay, this is your code? Cool. Let me take your code and let me see you recreate it. So that might be one way. But uh, anyhow, guys, that's my two cents. I don't know if I'm trying to vent or actually give advice. It's one or the other. But as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check our Facebook page out, Code Tech and Caffeine. If you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash coventorials360. I hope you guys are working hard. I'm working hard. It feels kind of shitty right now, to be honest with you. But here we are. We're grinding it out, man. You're in one part of the grind. You grind to the another part. It's always a little bit of a grind. So uh, stay motivated, guys. Stay hungry. Stay uh, coding daily, everything you can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.